three, two, one. Grant Flanders and Matt Hall of K-State Online from inside of Bramlage Coliseum. After K-State beats Monmouth 73-54 to move to 3-0 on the young season. Flanders, the game where K-State mm -hmm. struggles big time in the first half then scores 53 in the second half. What was the biggest difference in the two halves in your opinion? I mean, biggest difference of the two halves was basically guys actually getting it down low. It was another half where you saw a lot of threes out of K-State, yep. and that was something that in the first three games they've struggled in the first half shooting. <laughs> what was the number? Like one, one for of 50? 32 Holy so far cow. this year. Yeah, that's that's struggling in the first half, no doubt. But yeah, like you said, they got it going in the second half, 53 points. That's impressive in its own. And I guess, I mean, being able to go 10 guys deep and yeah. everyone scoring is a big deal. No doubt about it. Awesome about ask about just a few guys yeah. here let's start with Montavious Murphy he was plus 21 tonight mm -hmm. the plus minus he played almost 30 minutes again for K-State didn't score a ton but yeah. guarded all over the floor just a big factor for the Wildcats this evening he's a guy who did struggle in the first half as well you saw some sloppy mistakes but in the second half he turned it on it just goes to show his perseverance as a young guy that's big to see out of him so yeah he had a great game on both ends of the floor and Look forward to see more from him. No doubt. McComa Wayne didn't play a ton of minutes, but led the team with a plus 22, a near double-double yeah. again. Shot it relatively well. Uneven night for Mac, but still a pretty good performance. Yeah, a pretty good performance. You always like to see him at least get in the double digits against a team of lower level um, competition because usually the better the competition, the sh brighter he shines. Right. But in, this, in the first three games, he's been solid, and he's showing that he's going to be a big key this year. We can talk about all 10 guys, like you said, yeah. all 10 did score. But Xavier Sneed mm -hmm. played over 30 minutes tonight despite having a foot injury coming in. Led K-State with 15 points, shot 50% from the floor, six boards. I thought X was pretty big for K-State oh, tonight, tonight when they struggled to score, especially early. No doubt. And he's the reason why they were able to stay in it because of his defense. He's still one of the best defenders maybe in the country, like Coach Weber will tell you. And that's the biggest reason. And like you said, on offense, 15 points from him was huge and was a big spark to make sure they got this win. We don't want to skip through the game too fast, but it's also early signing yeah. day, which is big news for K-State. The Wildcats signed the best class of the Bruce Weber era. Flanders has covered it really, really well all recruiting period long. Let's just go one by one. Yeah. You can see Bruce Weber talking all the recruits as well here on KSO. But Flanders first, the highest rated player, Selton Miguel. Selton Miguel, four-star kid out of Florida. Just brief thoughts on him. Man, I asked Coach right, uh, right after the game, is he the most physically gifted guy coming in? And yeah, like he said, he's a guy that's – Coming in, like he's big, physical, right. and he will play that way. He's a dog. That's a, that's something Coach Weber used as well. He will play defense. Coach Weber said he also has a good three pointer, which in tape you will see that. Yeah. And he's he's a great finisher too. So he's really got an all around game. He's probably the most versatile guys out of all four. Most likely, yeah. yeah. Selt Miguel, the most highly ranked recruit, as we said. The first commitment though was Nigel yeah. Pack. Some, myself included, might think he could be the best player mm -hmm. in this class. Just thoughts on Nigel Pack. Well, I also agree he could be the best player in the class, and. I mean, coach said it, you need a point guard even more than a big guy because that is what you, where you win in college basketball. Yep. And I think he can be that good, just like you said. And I mean, he, he's an exciting guy. He's got a, a great handle for the ball, great presence as a point guard passing the ball, and he's got a great jump shot as well. So he's going to be able to bring a lot of stuff. Defensively, he's going to have to come along, and yeah. Coach Weber and, and Coach Lowry are going to make sure he gets it done on that end of the floor. But offensively, he, he's a great point. As you noted earlier in this video, K-State one of 32 this year from three in the first yeah. half. Way better in the Oof. second half. Somebody who probably could have helped was Luke Kasubke, a right. shooter with some size for K-State. Yep, and, and Coach Weber said after, after the game as well that this guy has other attributes as well. He can dribble the ball. He's got a great mid-range game. I think that's something that K-State sometimes can lack out of their guards. And he, he, can, he can take it inside as well. He still has some beefing up to get to uh, be a good defender and uh, match up with guys on the offensive end, but he's got a whole year to get ready. Last but certainly not least, the final commitment was Davian Bradford, the fourth of four Rivals 150 members, the first time yeah. in program history that's happened. Just brief insight into Davian Bradford for us. Yeah, seven-footer, also out of uh, St. Louis like Luke Kazuki. So, yeah, that's definitely a pipeline. There's no joke there. But he's a guy who isn't going to be easy to score on down low. He's got a decent touch. I mean, you'd like to see him uh, be able to uh, spread it out a little bit more, but for his size and what he's going to be able to do, he's going to be doing most of his work down low. So I think they, they got a good guy in Davian Bradford. Well said. Like we said earlier, Bruce Weber talked about all these kids too. Please watch that because he said it even better than Flanders did, perhaps. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's going to wrap us up from inside of Bramlage Coliseum. Appreciate Logan Mance behind the camera. Grant Flanders, KSU underscore fan or Jimmy, yep. whatever you prefer. Chris Nelson, lots of help here tonight. For Flanders, Logan and Matt, Tell your friends. Tell them.